Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie, and today I have 13 Valentine's Day gift DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree. I try to do like um, for just about anybody on your list, and this is their first DIY. Uh, this is one of the metal Valentine's Day buckets from Dollar Tree. It's kind of large, and I want to use that and make it into a hot air balloon. So I'm going to do that with just some Dollar Tree balloons. I was only able to find white but I think we can make it look Valentine's Day with some of their little heart stickers. And then for the sides of the balloon, I'm gonna use some of those paper straws from Dollar Tree. Now, originally I was gonna use a paper lantern for the very top part, but I couldn't find any in the size and color that I wanted at Dollar Tree, so I chose balloons and I think it's even cuter that way. So I just kind of blow up my white balloon um, to scale um, pretty much all the way. And then I thought we could always just decorate that, kind of give it a Valentine's Day feel. These are the little glitter red stickers from the Dollar Tree that are hearts. And I'm just gonna kind of randomly do them, like the medium size here in a pattern. I'm kind of trying to alternate them randomly. So it kind of looks like a heart pattern all over. Just an easy way. I mean, I guess you could always do like red or pink balloons as well. Those would even look cute with hearts on them too. But I was only able to find white because you know, sometimes Dollar Tree doesn't have exactly what we want, but hey, at least it's inexpensive, right? So I'm gonna switch it up now to the smaller ones because I've used all of the medium size and just kind of randomly um, place those all around my balloon too, trying to be careful not to pop my balloon. <laughs> I just knew I was gonna pop it in this DIY, but so far, so good. So that looks pretty good, um, kind of a random pattern. And I kind of want to show you what I want to do. I want to have the balloon at the top and this is going to be the basket at the bottom of our hot air balloon. And then we can fill it up with all kinds of Valentine's Day treats. Now to hold the balloon up, I thought these little paper straws from the Dollar Tree would be perfect. I picked the red and white ones, just trying to get some Valentine's Day colors. And we could do one on each corner like that and we can sit the balloon on top. Now for the bottom part here, um, I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on it to keep them in place and gluing them on the inside of the um, metal bucket. This is not like the small metal buckets that they have at the Dollar Tree. I would say this is more of like a medium size. Lots of room for Valentine's Day treats inside. So I think that will work. I can put the balloon on there. I'm gonna try gluing it on but it can always just sit on there too if you're not gonna be traveling with it or anything like that. But again, I was a little scared I was gonna pop the balloon, <laughs> but I didn't. So I'm happy with how that looks, so now we can fill it up with some Valentine's Day goodies. I hit up the candy aisle at Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day, and I found lots of good stuff. Um, let's see, we have little peanut butter hearts. I tried to choose like a variety. Um, some of the pink Hershey Kisses. Love being able to get some of the brand name stuff like that there. Some of the chocolate hearts in the foil packages. They even had Reese's hearts, which are delicious. And then for this one, I picked up some Mario socks. For this boy, I know loves Mario, so I thought that would be a fun little thing to throw in here too, besides just candy. So I'm gonna start with just some of the filler. I picked this up the party section at Dollar Tree. Um, this is the red one. And then I'm just gonna kind of put the Mario socks in there first. They're kind of the largest thing. And then we can just start piling this up with candy. Since it is a larger bucket, lots of room for treats in here. And this would be a really fun DIY for a kid. I'm gonna give this to my favorite teenager. Um, and I think any little kid would like this as well. And so I did some of the chocolate foil hearts and I'm pretty much gonna do all of the little pink kisses in here. I know he likes those. And then just mix it up. These are the little peanut butter heart. Just kind of scatter those around. 
And then the Reese's hearts. Those things are so delicious. You know, they have these for every holiday. So good. Can't go wrong with these. They're not very Valentine's Day color with that orange, but that's okay. They're delicious. And just gonna pile it up a little bit more until it's full. And then we can attach the balloon to this one and it will be ready to go. It was really a lot easier to make this than I expected. And I just love how it turned out. Now to attach the balloon. Again, you can kind of just sit it on there. It will stay on there, but I wanted to try to glue mine on if possible. Again, I don't want to use hot glue or anything like that because I don't want to pop the balloon, but this is how I figured mine out. I decided that if I cut my straws like a little bit at an angle, it's going to like make it kind of nest in there a little bit better. So as you can see, I'm just cutting it at an angle so that it's smaller on the inside, longer on the outside, just to kind of give um, an area to hold the balloon in place. And I did that on all four of them. And then I decided to use tacky glue. I thought that might be a good solution. And I just put some on the end of each straw. And then I take my balloon, I try to figure out which heart pattern I like the best, and then just sit that right on top of the straws. I don't know how durable that will be, but again, it's really fun and it's not going to be something that lasts forever because of course it does have a balloon. And then I designed this free printable. It says love is in the air. I went ahead and made like a whole sheet of these free printable tags that we're going to be using on a lot of the gift baskets today for you. And I'll include that in the description below this video. I just cut mine out a little hot air balloon that says love is in the air. I used my hole puncher just to punch a hole in there and then just some Dollar Tree twine. And I'm going to tie that to one of the little straws that's holding up the hot air balloon. And just tie it on there, knot it. It was kind of hard to show you it at this point because I'm trying not to dump everything that I just loaded it up with. But let me show you how it turned out. Our little hot air balloon gift basket. I absolutely love it. And, you know, the white balloon totally worked out, especially with all those little red glitter stickers. Isn't it so cute? Love is in the air. I love it. And you can put whatever you want inside besides candy if you'd like. But this is how my first one turned out. Now for the next one, I picked up one of these little pink it's kind of like a little caboodles like makeup case, right? Um, from Dollar Tree and it's pink glitter and I thought that would be perfect for Valentine's Day for this idea. I am gonna use some of the red glitter hearts again. These are the little foam stickers from Dollar Tree just to give a little bit more of a Valentine's Day feel for it. And you know, you could always remove those later if you wanted to, but I thought it'd be cute to kind of decorate it for um, Valentine's Day besides the pink glitter. And then it has like a pink bottom. I thought this would be really cute to do a little art gift basket for a kid. So again, I have some of the decorative shred from Dollar Tree in the party section. This one's really cute. It's like pink and white shred like mixed together. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some in there. Might need to add some more here in a minute. And then I found some really cute little art supplies. These are little heart stickers from the Dollar Tree. I thought those would be really cute for Valentine's Day. These are some really cute like pastel colored gel pens. And you know, you can find some really cute art supplies at the Dollar Tree. Look at this little alpaca pink notebook that like folds open. It's got like little notebooks and post-it pads inside and super cute. It's not technically Valentine's Day, but I thought the pink definitely went with Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the package just to make it a little bit more accessible. And it's just the right size for this case. And this is a great case to carry art supplies around with too. I also found some pink like pearl crayons and look even some little heart eraser hearts all from Dollar Tree to load up this cute little basket. Now um, I'm going to um, attach a free printable to this as well. This one's gonna say creativity in a box. I thought that was really fun. It doesn't really need much else because you've got the pink glitter, you've got like the red hearts and stuff like that. I didn't think it looked as full as I wanted it to. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more shreds, pile everything back in there. 
And now we just need to add the tag. This is what it looks like, the printable that I designed with all six of them together. I was gonna do print and cut, but most of them are just hearts. So pretty easy to cut out by themselves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut mine out rather than try to mess with my Cricut. Um, I will include it as a PDF file though, where you can print them all out at once. And so I just cut this one out, poked a hole in there, and again, just gonna use twine. And I can tie that to the handle, a cute little creativity in a box for the art supplies. Perfect. I know um, not only my son, but like my nieces and nephews always really enjoyed getting art supplies for gifts. Sometimes that's what they would ask for for me from Christmas and I would get them as much as I possibly could. But I think that looks pretty cute. I'm not gonna do a bow or anything like that. I don't think it really needs it. So here it is, our little creativity in a box DIY. I love the pink glitter. We do have a few Valentine's Day accents on there with the stickers, but it's just some really cute like pink and heart themed art supplies inside. And you never know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree like in the art supply category. You can really find some really nice stuff. Now the next DIY, I'm gonna do a baking theme. So I picked up one of the little red mixing bowls um, from the Dollar Tree and that is gonna be a gift basket that's actually, you know, something that you can use. And since I'm doing the baking theme for cake, I also picked up a little whisk and a little spoon from Dollar Tree and they even have red measuring cups. Sometimes you can find the heart-shaped ones there. I also have some of their little silicone pink little cupcake um, reusable like silicone molds, I guess. And I thought that'd be really cute piled in with some cake. Now the person I'm making this for is Keto, so I made sure to get the right kind of cake mix and a frosting from the grocery store. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that one at the Dollar Tree, but I think they do have cake mix a lot of times and frosting at the Dollar Tree. And again, I'm using some of the pink and white shreds to fill up the bottom of our little mixing bowl. And then we can just start loading everything in here. This is a really fun idea for a gift basket for just about anybody. Uh, everybody loves cake, right? Even if you can't do sugar. So I just kind of load everything in here and then I want to kind of shrink wrap it. So of course, everything stays together and it kind of looks more professional. Now I'm just gonna use cheap, generic plastic wrap to do my shrink wrapping. It's so easy. It gives you a really nice um, finish. It melts easily. Um, I'm gonna use my heat gun, but you could always use a blow dryer if you don't have one. And I'm not gonna go on the sides. I don't really wanna interfere with the handle or anything. I'm just gonna go around mine because it's not quite wide enough to cover everything on this large mixing bowl but I do kind of want to overlap it slightly at the bottom just to kind of seal it in. So I just wrapped it all the way around and then I'm just going to, you know, kind of gather it, start pushing it on the sides of the mixing bowl just to get it as tight as I can before I go in and start shrink wrapping it. Now, as you can see, the plastic wrap melts just like shrink wrap but it's less expensive and easier to find. So I get a nice shrink wrap around like all my baking supplies, my cake mix and everything like that. Just get it as tight as I possibly can. And it's super easy to remove for the gift recipient as well. Now I did design a printable to go on this one as well. Um, this one, I designed a cute little cupcake. It says sweet Valentine wishes. I was trying to think of a fun saying to go on there. That's basically all I could come up with. I couldn't think of any good cake sayings for this. But it has a little heart on top and I thought that was super cute. So just gonna cut that one down too and just make a little gift tag for this one. I don't really have anywhere to hang it, so I'm not gonna punch this one. I'm actually just gonna use some of the double-sided tape from Dollar Tree and pop one of those on the back and then just stick it to the shrink wrap right on top. And we have another Valentine's Day gift, sweet Valentine wishes, a fun cake theme with, you know, items that you can really use. There's really not much that you would have to throw away on this for packaging. Just, I guess, the packaging um, that your cake comes in, basically, and, you know, your shrink wrap. But I think it turned out really cute. 
You know, it's very red, very Valentine's Day. Definitely goes with the theme well. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment out of today's video and let you know about memberships on my channel. It's a quick, easy way for you to support me here on YouTube. You're going to get early ad-free access to my videos and it's $4.99 a month and you can cancel anytime. All you have to do is hit the join button below this video. Okay, for the next DIY, I wanted to do kind of like a movie night theme. So I found some of these great like popcorn buckets. Um, they're like paper buckets from the Dollar Tree in the Valentine's Day section. You get two for $1.25, and I'm actually going to be using both of them. They're a really nice size. So this is really cute because then once you pop the popcorn, you can put it in the bucket. So I also got some Pop Secret movie theater popcorn and some chocolates. And I even got a gift card at Dollar Tree. Um, we usually like rent movies from Apple and stuff like that. So I thought that would be a good option because I kind of wanted to do a movie night at home. But they also have like AMC and Regal and stuff like that at Dollar Tree too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start filling up my popcorn bucket with a little bit of the red paper shreds. And then we can put the popcorn in there and the chocolates. And you can get whatever kinds you want. I kind of wanted like a sweet and a salty kind of theme for this movie night, Ben. And I just kind of add more shred until it looks a little bit fuller and everything looks good. I want it to, it's only got three items, so I want it to look as full as I can. Now for the Apple gift card, I am just going to use one of the skewers from Dollar Tree and just cut it off um, so it's not too long. And I'm just gonna simply attach that to the back of the gift card, making sure I don't really interfere with anything with the gift card. And I just glue my skewer on the back and then I can use that as a pick, kind of putting that down in the gift basket. I'm also gonna use those red shreds to kind of fill up the sides. And this is just a quick Valentine's Day gift that anybody would love, popcorn, candy, a free movie. I mean, can't go wrong with that as a Valentine's Day gift. So this is set up pretty well. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop off the top of this, the hanger and kind of push this down inside the gift basket. And then I kind of want to keep everything together on this one as well. I want to make sure you don't lose that gift card. And so I'm going to shrink wrap this as well with just some of the plastic wrap. I'm just going to kind of go base to base on this. Um, again, there's like one side that might not have a complete um, seal, but pretty close. I decided to kind of do mine front to back like this, kind of wrapping that around the bottom of it on both sides and kind of bringing the sides together. It pretty much covers everything up. And then again, I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and shrink wrap it. Trying not to go too hot on the chocolates, of course, but just a quick, easy Valentine Day DIY, DIY gift that you could really give to anybody. I don't know who would not like this for Valentine's Day. So I think that looks pretty good. I've got it shrink wrapped as tight as I can. Um, as you can see that the plastic wrap just does such a good job for that. I really uh, like using that. And now this is the printable I designed for this one. I did movie night with some movie items inside of a little red heart. Again, pretty generic. So you can pretty much use that for just about anyone. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one down too. I don't really have anywhere to hang this one as well, so I'm gonna kinda do the same thing where I'm just gonna put some double-sided tape here on the back and just stick that on the top here. Just a fun little tag to add to it and explain what the gift basket is about. So this is another Valentine's Day gift DIY, popcorn, candy, and a movie. Really fun gift. This would be great for, um, your sweetheart or pretty much anyone on your list, kids would enjoy this as well. And you know, you can use the popcorn bucket. So I love a functional item like that, that you can use for your gift basket. So you're really not gonna have any extra waste. Now this is the second popcorn bucket that we had. It's nice and big. So I thought we would do like a little spa bucket for a girl. So I did like a makeup vanishing towel. This is a bubble bath bar. They have so many great spa items at the Dollar Tree. 
This is like a little shower gel and bath bombs. Um, that one was from Valentine's Day section. Everything else was from the main aisle on my store. But look at this microfiber hair wrap with the little hearts all over. I picked up a little pink bath sponge. It's even got like a scrubber brush on it, which is kind of cool. And I found a love sponge. I found so many things for the spa theme for a girl. Some EXO bath bombs. I thought that would be really cute. And this is like a little Valentine pumice. It says XOXO on it. And I even found a little red bell that you can ring, you know, if you're enjoying yourself on your spa night and you need somebody to wait on you. <laughs> I thought that would be a fun little touch. So again, I'm going to start with some pink and white shreds in this one. And I was thinking about taking the hair wrap out of the box, but it does have directions on the back. So I thought I would leave it in there. I think I can make it fit. We got the pumice stone. Now, this one was too large or I bought too much stuff, one of the two. So I am going to have to take this out, which is fine. And i um, just going to start piling everything in here. One good thing about gift baskets, especially if you're going to shrink wrap them, is that you can go high and it just makes your gift basket look so much fuller anyway. So just kind of piling everything in here, kind of whatever makes sense. And I'm going to kind of scatter some bath bombs those also act as decor with the little hearts and the little bell we can kind of work in here as well and then I'm going to do the little love sponge like right on top and since we're going to shrink wrap it I think that will stay in place so I just kind of put that on the back of it and again we're going to use some of the plastic wrap to shrink wrap it a really fun theme. You could use this gift for um, your daughter, your granddaughter. You could use this for a woman as well. I mean, everything uh, is spa related. But I was kind of going for that pink feel. So whoever you know that likes pink <laughs> would probably enjoy this little spa basket. Um, since I'm shrink wrapping it on there, that love is going to kind of act like a sign for the top of it as well. And it definitely keeps it in place. I just kind of go front to back on mine again. And then just kind of cinch up the sides as much as I can. Again, that's all going to shrink wrap down when I go in there with my heat gun. So we're going to do that now. Give it a good shrink wrap. Super cute. Um... I really like when I can use like functional items like that for decor, but some of the later gift baskets we'll be doing today, I will be adding some bows and some more decorative things like that. But for these, I wanted to try to keep them um, pretty simple. And so that's why I designed the free printables to kind of decorate these and kind of explain them. And I think that looks pretty good. Our little spa gift basket. So cute, and again, so many options from Dollar Tree to go into that. I designed this free printable. It's a little conversation heart that says Spa Day to kind of explain the little gift basket. And again, I'm just going to cut that out, use some of the double-sided tape, and attach that to the top of this gift basket as well. And I know a lot of times people are like, you know, who wants stuff from the Dollar Tree for a gift like this, but these are some really nice items that you would want to use anyway. And you really can't sleep on Dollar Tree. They do have some really nice items. And this is how it turned out. And so much more inexpensive if you were to try to buy any or all of this stuff at another store for sure. So I think that turned out really fun. What do you guys think about our little spa day gift basket? Super cute. Now I've seen this idea around and I wanted to try it. You take two of these bowls from Dollar Tree, put them together, use a foam wreath and a plate and make a giant ring pop. And it holds all the presents. And so I thought I had to try it. So I picked up a couple of these when I was out shopping for this stuff at Dollar Tree today. So I got two of the pink bowls, one of the wreath forms, and then I picked up some of these plastic plates from the party section at Dollar Tree um, just because I didn't really want to paint a plate and I wanted it to be lightweight and plastic. They are very lightweight, but I think we can make them work. The red and pink are perfect for Valentine's Day, but I will have to paint the wreath form. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut like right along the seam that's already on there. 
what I want to do is kind of cut an area out, um, kind of like, you know, a, a how a ring pop has an opening in it, so you can adjust it around your finger. And then the other part that I'm going to have to cut off is the top of it so that I can attach the ring pop to it. So I'm just using my little um, pool noodle cutter thing from Dollar Tree um, to cut the foam. It works really well. And as you can see, I just cut part of it so I have a flat surface where I can attach that plate to it. Now, this was the only item that isn't in Valentine's Day color, so I'm definitely going to have to paint that. I wish I had spray paint for this, even though I don't know how that would do on the foam. I didn't have any, so I'm just using some bright red acrylic and a brush and just going to paint this all over. Trying to paint both sides at once without like really sitting it down um, so I can get maximum coverage. I was really impressed with how well it painted. I only did one coat. It was kind of a heavy coat, but I was worried I wasn't going to be able to cover up all of that green, but it actually really went on pretty well. I thought the red would go great with the plate for the bottom part of the ring pop, and then the ring pop itself can be the pink um, to represent the candy. And they're both Valentine's Day colors, so I think they'll go well together. So I don't really have to paint like the flat part up here. So I'm just kind of painting all around that. And then I used my heat gun to dry this. Um, it was pretty wet, so it did definitely take a few minutes to get that dry so that we could work with that and start putting all this together. This is how it looks dry, and now we can start filling this up. I thought it would be best to load up the ring pop first with um, Valentine's Day presents. So let me show you what I found at Dollar Tree. But first, I'm going to start with a little bit of filler to help fill it up a little bit. It's not going to need too much because I did find lots of stuff to go into this. So I'm just using some of the red filler here for the bottom of the gift basket. I found this cute little XOXO pink puppy. A little plushy. I thought he would be so cute inside. And then we're going to fill it up with, um, I also found some Valentine's Day socks. Some XOXO socks. I'm going to fold those up, put those in there. But everything else is pretty much going to be candy. I did want to put like ring pops inside to kind of go with the ring pop theme. But the only ones I could find were the lip pops. But they're still ring pops, so I think that totally works. So they look like lips when you put them, like the sucker in your mouth. So they're kind of cute with definitely a Valentine's Day theme. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bag of those from Dollar Tree. I found some of the pink, red, and white swirled heart pops from Dollar Tree as well. And we're going to do a bunch of those um, suckers in here as well. I'm going to save some of those for another DIY. And again, some of the Reese's hearts, so delicious. Everybody likes these. I'm going to pile some of these in here. Since you're doing that entire like ring pop, um, you can definitely do some bigger gifts than this one. And then again, I have some of like the peanut butter hearts we can scatter in here. Some of the chocolate hearts. Just kind of load it up with goodies for Valentine's Day. Super cute. Now you could glue this together, but I wanted to make it easy um, for the child to open. So I'm just going to use some tape and I'm just going to tape like four sides. That's going to keep it together, but it's going to make it easy enough for the gift recipient to open this. And you can't really see it. it kind of blends in with the bowl. So this is what we have so far for the top of our ring pop. Now we need to put this all together. I was trying to think, I didn't really want to hot glue this on here, but I am going to have to use some hot glue. That plastic plate was very thin, so I didn't know how well it would hold up. So for this part, I decided to use double-sided tape. It's pretty strong. Um, so I'm going to use four pieces of that on the inside of the plate. And then I'll just um, leave the glue for the reef part for the bottom. So I'm just going to stick that right on there. That's going to be the bottom part. Um, I was having a hard time. I didn't want to find a plate that was too big. I wanted it to kind of be the scale, and I think that this worked well. So that's how that looks at this point. And now it's a matter of attaching the ring to the ring pop. I actually love how this turned out. I think it was so fun to make, and I'm so glad that I decided to try it. 
I went ahead and set mine upside down and we can kind of put this together like this. Whenever you put hot glue on foam, it's gonna melt, so you kind of have to act fast with this. I just lay this on the plate. I did have a little bit of hot glue like seeping out, but no big deal. I'm just making sure that I push down a lot, that it's good and secure, and it's not really going to fall apart on me. And then I did try to clean up some of my hot glue mess there. But I, when the when the foam um, wreath started crackling, I like kind of panicked and put it on there really fast. <laughs> but it worked. And here it is, our little ring pop gift basket. This was so fun to make. I really enjoyed this. And I think the recipient is going to love it. It'd be perfect for a little girl, but I think anybody would love it. I think it's super fun. And I'm a full grown adult. <laughs> but this is how it turned out. I think the pink and the red really worked well together. It was a lot easier to make than I thought it would be. Really, the only time consuming part for me was painting the wreath form. But look how cute that is. Now the next DIY, I found some of these great like clear XOXO Valentine's Day baskets at Dollar Tree. Again, you get two in a package for $1.25. And I thought this would be really cute to do like a manicure theme for a gift basket. So I'm only gonna need one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate them. I like the fact that it's clear. It's gonna kind of um, show off everything that's gonna be in this gift basket. And it's kind of a smaller gift basket so you don't have to go too crazy. Now I found some items from, you know, like the nail care. I found fingernail polish remover. It's like a purple color, so that's gonna go great with the Valentine's Day color scheme. And then I picked up three different kinds of pink in the fingernail polish. I thought that was really cute for Valentine's Day. I found some little matchbook nail files. These were pink and they have little roses on them and even found some pink like toenail clippers. And then for filler, I thought it'd be really cute to use cotton balls to use, you know, with the fingernail polish remover. So it's a functional filler. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out of the plastic um, just to make it a little bit more accessible. I'm gonna leave the clippers in the package though, just so they don't get lost in the gift basket. And we can start putting this together. I love the idea of using the cotton balls and having like a functional filler. I think that's really great. And I got the cotton balls. I got everything, um, of course, at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna start um, placing the cotton balls in the bottom just to get us started for filler. And then we can start loading this up. The largest item I have, of course, is the fingernail polish remover. So I'm gonna put that in there and then just keep going. The little uh, nail files, the nail clippers, and then I'm gonna kind of build it up a little bit more and then we can put the fingernail polish in there up towards the top where you can still see it. And I'm trying to include as many of the cotton balls as I can to make the gift basket nice and full. And I think this is a really fun, cute theme for a gift basket. And again, this could be, um, you know, for anybody that wants to paint their nails. It doesn't necessarily need to be for a child, but I think it's really cute. And again, I don't want everything kind of flying out of it. So I am gonna shrink wrap this as well. Just gonna go in there with some of the plastic wrap. I find it easier just to take the whole roll out than to worry about the cutter and just cut it with scissors. Otherwise I might end up with a tangled mess. And again, we're just gonna go over the top like that and kind of go around the very bottom so we can kind of shrink wrap everything nicely. And this kind of like really kind of disappeared against like that clear plastic container, made it look really nice in the end. And I just try to kind of clean up the sides as much as I can, kind of like wrapping a package almost. Once I get it all on there, I can go in and give it a quick shrink wrap. I did um, design a printable for this one as well to kind of go with the theme. A little Valentine's Day poem that I thought would be cute to attach to this. So once I get it all shrink wrapped, we can attach that. Again, I don't really have like a handle or anything on this to hang it. So I'm just gonna kind of attach it to it. 
But this is how it looks so far. Isn't that so cute? Very festive for Valentine's Day. And this is the free printable. Roses are red, violets are blue. Now you can paint your nails too. So I thought that was cute. I put a little um, bottle of nail polish on there with a heart on it. And so we're just going to cut out this little pink heart and attach this again with some double-sided tape just onto the plastic wrap. Couldn't be any easier and everything in this is a very functional and the little container is pretty cute too. You could always reuse that as well. And this is how it turned out. Our little manicure Valentine's Day gift basket. Kind of a smaller scale gift basket but still super cute. I love those containers. I think those are so cute. Dollar Tree really does a good job on stuff like that. And I just found all the stuff at my Dollar Tree today, so everything should still be readily available. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment and let you know about my private Facebook group. You can show what you've been making. You can find out when I post new videos. I'm also really active on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube and sometimes on Pinterest too. Now for the next DIY, I just found a red and white bucket at Dollar Tree. I couldn't find a Valentine's Day one, so I thought we would make it a Valentine's Day one. I was able to find window clings, and so I thought maybe one of these little heart ones with a word on there would be really cute on the little tin bucket. And it sticks to the metal, so you can just kind of lay it on there. That way they, the gift recipient can always take that off and have a little red and white tin bucket that's not necessarily for Valentine's Day, so that works well. I wanted to do like a candy uh, floral arrangement. Instead of flowers, we're going to do candy. So I used one of the little foam circles from Dollar Tree that fits perfectly in those little tin buckets. I don't want you to really see the green on top, though. So I'm gonna use some of the red party shreds to decorate the top. So I just put like a layer of hot glue down and kind of glue that. I have a little bit of room there. You can always paint it as well, but I had the decorative shreds, so I thought that would probably be the easiest option to kind of cover up all of that. But it's gonna give me a great surface to kind of pile this up with, um, instead of flowers, we're gonna be using candy. I did want to work in some like regular heart decor as well though. So I am going to use some of the heart picks for decoration. I'm going to start with three and I can always add more as needed. And then everything else I'm going to kind of have coming out of it like a flower. This one's already on a pick. It's like the pink like crabby patty candies from the Dollar Tree. It's nice and tall. So I'm going to put that one kind of right here in the middle. And then I'm just going to kind of have things like shooting out and up, just kind of like the picks in every direction, instead of flowers. For the um, candy, I chose some of the oh, candy hearts. I thought that would be perfect. So they have different varieties. They have like peanut butter. They have like crispies, whatever kind of color scheme you want. And then I'm going to use some of the skewers from Dollar Tree and kind of cut those down if needed. I'm just going to hot glue those to the back of the candy. This seemed to work well on most of these. Some of them did kind of want to unwrap. Um, and so you can also tape it to the back and I did end up needing to tape some of these. But I'm kind of shortening them all just because my skewers are really long. Um, not necessarily doing them all the same length though because I want them kind of being um, different lengths that I can kind of pile in there. I'm gonna do quite a few of the hearts. Um, because I want that to be, I want a lot of hearts to be sticking out of it. I thought that'd be really cute for candy. And finding like individually wrapped candy at Dollar Tree, um, can be a little bit challenging because a lot of things come like in big bags. So I tried to make sure everything I did today was individually wrapped. As you can see, that one was starting to come apart, but no big deal. I can just use some scotch tape on the back of it and make that a little bit stronger without interfering. Most of them did hold up though. I tried to stick with like the red and the silver kind of um, color scheme on this so they'll all coordinate well together and just start putting those into the foam. It's a great way to display these and it kind of makes just a little bit of candy look like um, kind of a bigger present if you will. 
a really fun display. This would be a great gift for anybody, like someone in the office, just anybody I think would enjoy this. Who doesn't want some candy for Valentine's Day? Even if they don't have a Valentine, right? And so I needed one more, so I'm gonna to kind of balance it out right here. Kind of doing a pattern, not really, but I thought I needed one more back there. And then I also got some of those heart swirl um, suckers, so I thought those would be perfect. Um, they're gonna be a little shorter, um, but they will kind of fill in some of the bottom parts, again with the heart theme, and the colors go nicely. So I'm gonna kind of scatter those around, pushing those into the floral foam as well. And then I thought it, I might need just a few more things, so I'm gonna do a couple more of the little glitter like hearts just to kind of fill it out, make it nice and full. You could always add flowers too if you wanted. I kind of wanted to just go with like a heart and candy theme on mine, and I think it turned out really cute. What do you guys think? Here it is, our little love bucket full of love. Um, chocolate candy, glitter hearts. We even got some heart um, shaped suckers in there. Looks delicious, was super easy to do, and I had a great time putting these little Valentine's Day gift baskets together today. And this is how it turned out. And now on to our next gift basket. These are the gift baskets that I put together last year using supplies from the Dollar Tree, but I'm pretty sure everything is still available at Dollar Tree. I got one of the heart bowls. I saw those at Dollar Tree today, and I'm gonna fill this one in with some pink shreds. And this is a nice size bowl, so you can really make a large gift basket with this which is what I was going for. But again, you're gonna need a lot of stuff to fill that up, so definitely use some decorative shreds in the bottom so you don't have to have too many items to fill this up. I'm gonna do a spa theme. I tried to stick with the pinks again. This one's gonna be more for a woman, um, more a little bit more adult than the spa theme before, but some of the items are gonna be similar, like this one. So like the shower gel and the bath bombs. Now this is a bigger basket, so I can kind of leave this one all together. I don't have to break it up like I did in the previous one. And I'm just trying to balance it out as well. And then these are some of the exfoliating bath gloves from the Dollar Tree. And if you don't find the stuff like in your Valentine's Day section, they kind of have a spa section there. A lot of the stuff you can find just in the regular, regular like spa section at Dollar Tree. These are some makeup sponges that are little pink hearts. I thought that would be really cute. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. Again, trying to make sure everything kind of balanced and more kind of fits in here, trying to do my larger items first. I thought some pink socks would be cozy. These um, aren't necessarily a Valentine's Day, but I thought they were cute. And who doesn't like some fuzzy socks? So I'm gonna pop those in there as well. I decided to kind of take these out of the package just so I could roll them up. To kind of make them smaller to make them fit in here a little bit better. After your spa day, you're gonna to wanna to put on some little pink fuzzy socks. And they have some really cute ones too. They have some really cute pink and white ones as well. Again, this is one of the little exfoliating little pumices. This one's got like the pink lips on it. I thought that was super cute. We can pile that in the gift basket as well. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off just because I think that's probably gonna get in the way. And then I found a little pink candle just from the candle aisle at Dollar Tree. I thought that'd go well with the theme, a little scented candle. And it's not necessarily Valentine's Day, but you could totally make it Valentine's Day super easy. I'm gonna kind of lay it in there like that where the back is exposed. So then I decided just to add a little heart to give it a little love. So I used one of the little wood red hearts from the Dollar Tree and I'm actually just gonna glue that on to the candle just for fun, right like that. But you could totally leave it plain as well. And um, with the spa theme, I thought one of these little heart-shaped bath sponges from the Dollar Tree would be really cute. And you can use some of these larger items since this is a pretty large red 
um, a heart-shaped bowl. And again, it's a plastic bowl, so it's something that is reusable as well. This is a little bath bomb, a little Valentine theme we can put in there, a little love bomb. And then a little chocolatey treat is always great too. This is some of the little milk chocolate pretzel rods. And then we're going to finish it off with a box of chocolate. I really liked this one. I thought this one, it kind of looks like, like a Louis Vuitton kind of thing, but it's like XO. A little box of chocolates. I thought that would be a great finishing touch. And then for decor, I'm going to actually put some of the little red felt roses from the Dollar Tree. Um, I thought that would be cute right on top. And then we're going to use the plastic wrap to shrink wrap this one as well. I want to make sure everything stays in there. We're going to do a really fun bow on this as well. But I wanted to go ahead and shrink wrap it first and kind of give it that professional look and keep everything in there. Since it's so large, um, I am going to have to use a couple pieces to kind of get everything to go together. But, you know, I've used the shrink wrap bags from Dollar Tree, and um, I do like them. I do find that they are kind of hard to find. They are really large, too. But, you know, I think the plastic wrap, I think I might even like it a little bit better. I just went ahead and overlapped mine to make sure I could get everything in there. And then just went in with my heat gun and shrink wrapped this. And, um, and then I thought a really beautiful bow would be a great finishing touch. This would be a great gift for your um, adult daughter, even your teenage daughter, your mother, aunt, whoever you can think of that you'd like to share a little Valentine cheer to. I love Valentine's Day. I don't think it's just for couples. I think it's for families and friends as well. This is the ribbon that we're going to use to make the bow. It is the large red ribbon with the pink and white hearts on it. And we're just going to do a giant bow here. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's, um, I'm going to have to pinch and um, twist um, because the pattern's only on one side. And so let me show you how I do that. I'm just going to go ahead and make a tail, pinch it together, twist it like that so the print is on the outside. Bring that together, pinch it in the middle. Then we can do another row, and then um, in the middle, we have to twist it again and pull it back towards the middle, cinching everything up like that. That's going to provide four loops. I'm going to cinch it all together with a little Dollar Tree plastic um, zip tie, cutting that off, and then cutting off a second tail. I'm going to pull them together to one edge so that I can make them the same length and dovetail them together. This ribbon from the Dollar Tree is also wired, so you can shape it however you want. And a nice big bow for this gift basket is really going to make it look really beautiful. I'm just going to attach it with some double-sided tape right on top of the shrink wrap. And kind of fluff it up and arrange it. Make sure it looks good. My tails are kind of even. And I think this turned out really pretty. What do you guys think about my spa basket in the big red heart plastic? Lots of spa and bath items in there. Candle. We've got chocolates. Fuzzy socks. All kinds of fun things for Valentine's Day. And this is how it turned out. I think it looks really festive. I love the big bow. I think that adds a great touch. Now I'm going to use another one of those red plastic bowls, but this time we're going to take this gift basket in a different direction. I'm going to start with some party shreds. We're going to do some pink shreds here at the bottom. And this Valentine's Day gift basket is going to be for a man or a teenager, a teenager guy probably. We have some Old Spice. I was trying to find red stuff for men. So this is some Old Spice soap in a red container. I thought that'd be good. They even have like cologne at the Dollar Tree, which is surprising, but hey, willing to try it. We'll put that over there. Um, some toothpaste is red as well. Um, this guy is pretty practical and he's going to want stuff that he can actually use. A new toothbrush. I really like these little charcoal brushes from the Dollar Tree with like the bamboo handles. They're really nice. 
They even have like mossy oak work socks. So I thought that was, those are some really nice quality socks. And I'm going to kind of roll those up and add those to the gift basket as well. Kind of like I did with the spa basket, kind of here at the tip of the heart. And these didn't really want to stay in a circle shape. They probably um, stay better if they didn't have the tags on there, but I kind of wanted to leave the tags on here um, to kind of show what they were. So I'm just going to take a Dollar Tree rubber band and go around that, kind of cinch it off a little bit, make them keep their shape a little bit in the gift basket. And then we can fill it up with some more stuff for a guy. I found like this little eight in one multi-use knife. You can find items like this, like in the hardware section. Sometimes they even have like a little men gift section set up for Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree. Um, I got one of these as well from Dollar Tree. That would be a great um, knife as well to add to the gift basket. This guy loves Swedish fish and so they had those at Dollar Tree, so I went ahead and grabbed a bag of those. And some of like the fancy chocolates as well. I picked up some of those. We can kind of work those in the gift basket. I wanted practical things, but I also wanted like some sweet treats as well. Here's a nice little chocolate bar. And it doesn't have to be the Valentine's Day candy, but I also am gonna include a Valentine's Day heart, a little box of chocolates. This one says Happy Valentine's Day. It just has roses on it. And then I also got a chocolate rose. Um, the box is kind of big, but if I take it out of the package, I think we can make this work. Because I kind of wanted to do a rose theme since I did the little rose box of chocolate. And I'm just going to put the little chocolate rose over here to the side. It's a little too long. Um, so I'm just going to shorten mine a little bit so it will fit inside my gift basket. And just cut the plastic stem down. And that seemed to work. And I think that looks really good for a gift basket for a guy. So we're going to go in and shrink wrap this with some of the plastic wrap. And I kind of want to do a bow for this one as well. I'm going to do um, a little bit more of a masculine pattern for this one. But again, I'm using that same gift basket that we used for the woman's spa basket. This is kind of a guy version, if you will. A little less of the fancy spa stuff, a little bit more of the practical stuff. And again, it's kind of big, so I'm going to use two pieces of plastic wrap to shrink wrap this in and just kind of slightly overlap that right there in the center. Just going to go in again with my heat gun and shrink wrap this. And again, I do want to do like a large bow on this one. Um, I thought if I stuck with like red... Um, maybe like some of like the red and white gingham be a little bit more masculine. This is also from the Valentine's Day aisle and it is wired so I can make another large bow with this. This is patterned on both sides so it's going to be even easier. I don't have to flip it. I can just cinch it in the middle. So I did a tail, a loop on both ends, and then um, a zip tie here in the middle. This one's going to be a little bit smaller bow because I do have an idea um, to decorate this one further. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pull my tail down. Making the bows with the zip ties like this is so easy to do. It really is. And just dovetail my ends here. And again, it's wired, so it's easy to shape and fluff as needed. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to use some double-sided tape here on the back so I can attach that to the packaging on the top of this gift basket right here at the top. And since I was doing kind of a Valentine red rose theme for this, this gift basket, even though it's for a guy, I did it on the chocolates. I did it on the chocolate rose. I thought one of the Dollar Tree felt roses would be perfect to finish off the bow. I'm just going to attach it right there in the center with some hot glue. Just a little bit more of a masculine bow, I think. Um, but I think it turned out really cute. Just making sure my ribbon's not too long. I don't really want it sticking off the sides too much. And this is how it turned out. Our little gift basket for a guy. You know, it's almost been a month since um, we all got sick. And, you know, I'm still having to pause the voiceover 
for coughing fits? I swear. I want this to completely go away. This is so nasty. Stay healthy out there, guys. I think this turned out really cute. Very practical. Hey guys, if you're enjoying today's video, be sure to hit that like button. It does help my video. And don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. Okay, the next gift basket, I found this at Dollar Tree. It's a little heart basket um, and little cutouts on the side. Isn't this so cute? Something that you can definitely reuse after the season. And I'm going to kind of mix it up and do blue um, um, party shreds in this one. I'm going to be doing this gift basket for a little boy. And the blue is going to kind of go with my theme. A little less traditional on the colors, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just start that with a good amount to fill up the very base of it. And then a look at this really cute little clipboard that I found at the Dollar Tree, a little rocket. I wanted to kind of do like a space theme for this gift basket and I thought that would be really cute for it. I just found that like in the stationery aisle at Dollar Tree. And then I even found like some cosmic crayons to kind of go with the space theme. So we're going to work those in there as well. I found a little blue crayon shower gel. I thought that would be fun to add to it for a boy. And I even found a little rocket um, bath bomb at Dollar Tree with the Valentine's Day stuff. And then I also decided to include a washcloth. This little boy loves Arthur. And I was able to find a little Arthur, a little magic cloth. So that's going to kind of go with like the shower gel, the bath bomb. I want it to be like some fun art stuff, but also some spa stuff as well for the little boy. And I found some crazy socks. These are the cup of noodle socks. I thought those would be really fun. And I'm going to kind of roll those up and put them in there. They have some really fun socks. Um, you guys saw the Mario socks earlier. I saw some really cute SpongeBob ones there today as well. You never know what you're going to find there. And then for candy, I couldn't find a space theme on the chocolate, so I decided to get a little chocolate frog, but I thought that would be cute for a theme for a boy. And then I thought some of the gummy star mix would go great with the space theme. And so I got a bag of those from Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to kind of put that here in the front, kind of try to do larger to smaller in the front. Um, some of the little Krabby Patties, these kind of have blue in them. Um, on the little candy stick and um, that fits perfectly across and I even found a little box of chocolates with a little astronaut little boy on top of the box of chocolates and it says you're out of this world so I thought that would be the perfect finishing touch for this little gift basket again I'm going to go in and shrink wrap this real quick with some plastic wrap Again, I'm going to use two pieces just because I want to make sure this all kind of stays in there. You could probably get away with one piece and just wrap it around just like before. And then we're going to shrink wrap that on there. I'm not really going to do any kind of bow or anything like that on this. I think this is perfect. I love the little box of chocolates kind of acting as my sign for this one. Kind of showing kind of the theme that I was going for with this Valentine's Day gift basket. But I love the space theme. I thought that was really cute. And this is how it turned out. Our little space themed gift basket from the Dollar Tree for a little boy. And I really like that basket. I think it's super cute. Definitely something that would be reusable. There it is. Now our next Valentine's Day gift basket. I found another like little heart cutout basket from Dollar Tree. But this one has is round with like a like really kind of delicate heart cut, cut out around the edges. I really like that. And for this one, we're going to be doing a gift basket for a little girl. So I kind of had a purple theme for this one. So I picked up some purple shreds for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up the bottom of the basket. You can see all the different varieties of buckets they have from the Dollar Tree. Really cute. And I was able to find this little purple unicorn backpack from the Dollar Tree. And it's purple with little white unicorns all over. I'm just going to kind of cinch the bags up. It's like Kendall and Kylie, I guess. And that's going to be my larger item. 
you know, you can always put the items in the backpack too and just give the backpack as a gift. But I thought that was really cute for $1.25. And I kind of wanted a unicorn theme to be going on on this one, but I also wanted mermaids. So I'm going to do both. I found this great little sticker book at Dollar Tree. It's called My Dress Up Mermaid with little stickers in there. So I thought unicorns, mermaids, perfect for a little girl, and of course the purple. So I was able to find some spa supplies to kind of go with the purple theme. This is like purple glitter, a little manicure set. I found a unicorn lip gloss from the Dollar Tree, so I thought that would be perfect to go with the unicorn theme. And then these are just some of the little heart elastics from the Dollar Tree from the Valentine's Day section. I thought those would be cute. I found a purple package of glitter crayons. I thought that would be great with the theme. I even found unicorn socks at Dollar Tree. How cute are these? They even have the little horn sticking out from the top of the socks. I love them. So we're going to display those right there towards the front of the gift basket. And I even found a chocolate unicorn there. Really great items. Definitely go with my theme. And gummy unicorn, I found those like in the regular candy aisle. So we're gonna work those in as well. I couldn't believe how many things I found for this theme. Now for a little girl, I thought the candy bracelets would be really cute too. So I picked up a bag of those from Dollar Tree and we can use those as a little bit of filler in the basket as well. <clears throat> it's gonna be a nice full basket because I was able to find so many great items. I was even able to find like a little box of chocolates for this one as well with a mermaid on the front. So cute. It says you are mermazing. So you can always use like a box of chocolates like that for your sign for your gift basket too. Um, if you don't want to do like a printable, like we did the printables earlier, those work great as well. So again, I'm just going to shrink wrap mine with some plastic wrap. Wrapping that around and using my heat gun to seal it all in place. Not really going to add a bow or anything else to this. I think it's perfect. So many fun items in here for a little girl for Valentine's Day. And the purple theme definitely worked well with the unicorns and the mermaids. So cute. I love mermaids and unicorns as well. <laughs> and this is how it turned out. That basket's really cute. It's also a basket that you'd be able to reuse easily. And I think it's really sweet for Valentine's Day. The next DIY, super easy, could be for anybody. Just pick up one of the little Valentine's Day tins from Dollar Tree and fill it up with candy. I had some of the red Hershey Kisses left over and I'm just going to go ahead and pile that up. This would be a great gift for just anyone um, that you want to make feel special for Valentine's Day. And that's really all you have to do. Fill it up with candy and give it as a gift. And I think these little tins are so cute. Also something that they could keep and reuse. A little Be Mine tin of chocolate kisses. I really hope you enjoyed all of these gift ideas today using items from the Dollar Tree. I had such a great time putting them all together for you. Please comment your favorite gift basket in the comments below or just come say hello. Um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel to 30,000 subscribers. Enjoy the final reveal.
so much for watching and I also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my crafty beach web members for supporting my channel here on YouTube. Thank you so much to Karen O'Haran, Pamela Bergeron, I am Mojo Jojo, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job, Susan Edmonds, Carrie R, Tracy Knight, Vernon Noctigal, Nancy Wunner, Tammy Coates, Janae Farrington, Pamelia Wren, Whitney Harrison, Maria Grace, Donna Schreiner, Tina Kane, and Sandy C. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. If you would like to watch more um, Crafty Beach DIYs, YouTube thinks that you might enjoy this video right here. Thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day.